Let's, Let's get into it, man. We here. Three, two, one. Top, 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 top hill episode 113. Welcome to another episode of the Top Hill Podcast. I'm your boy, Mr. Top Hill Pod, a.k.a. E-Money Boss. And I'm your girl, Jamila, with her own boss. And uh, yes, welcome, guys. Welcome to another segment of Top or Not, where we react to new music that you guys suggest that we react to. And uh, yeah, get into it. If you guys... um. We're here in the pre-recording, you know, we, we were just in here brainstorming, you know what I mean? Like, we want you guys, you guys are top hill, you know what I mean? Like, you guys are, we do it for you guys, so, uh, ooh, love you guys, man. Shout out to Tanzania, shout out to Ghana, shout out to Nigeria, shout out to South Africa. Like, mm-hmm. you guys have been really, like, pulling up on us heavy, and we really greatly appreciate that. But, um, you know, just to let you guys know, like, the direction of this podcast has always been to support black culture and black art. And black businesses as well, too. And, um, you know, we've been, we had a lot of interviews in here. We had a lot of great conversation in here. And then um, because of you guys, we started learning about a lot of dope music and um, been reacting to a lot of music lately and stuff like that. But we just want to, like, definitely grow um, grow the pot in, like, a different direction. We still want to react to music, but we also want to give you guys more as well, too. So... Um, like I said, you guys are a part of our family, a part of Top Hill family. So let us know in the comments below or in the live right here what you guys um, want to see us, you know, what else you want to see us do. One of the things that we're definitely still talking about doing regardless regardless if we react as frequently as we are now, but we definitely are looking to come to each of the countries that we listen to the most. Yes. Um, that's Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya. Um, Tanzania. Tanzania. Whew. She, we still got to make it to the Philippines. Oh, yeah. We got to get to the Philippines. We definitely got to sure. make it to the Philippines. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so a lot of love from them as well, too. Um, and um, UAE. I mean, we it's pretty it's pretty damn global, man. Like, we, we, we pretty damn global. And it's, it's, it's really dope that we get to hear different sounds and different styles from you guys. And, yeah, we definitely want to touch down with the people for sure. And we need you guys' help to do it. We definitely need you guys to make sure that you're subscribing, you're sharing, you're liking all of our stuff, okay? Absolutely. Tell a friend to tell a friend, man. Yes, please and thank you. Get Top Hill out there to you guys. We can't wait to see you guys. Um, um, there's something else I wanted to, to talk to you about, too. Um, so something did go viral um, recently mm-hmm. um, in terms of uh, verses and stuff like that. Shout out to um, to a man, Chad Vision there, dog. Um, recently... Um, on the Joe Budden podcast, one of the uh, co-hosts, Ice, he brought up a versus contender um, that he would like to see. Okay. And it got a lot of it got a lot of attention. I'm not gonna lie, it did get a lot of attention. So Wale, he, f- he feels should go against J, J. Cole, Cole. in a versus conversation. Yeah. And yeah, conversation at my house. Would it be stuff like in the group <laughs> chat? I'd be having the conversation out loud. Right. So. If people know how Versus actually works, and if you actually seen these two gentlemen perform, Wale is going to give J. Cole a very hard time. Yeah. And people got to stop playing on that man's name, dog. Um, so many people have hit me like, Wale doesn't have enough uh i forgot somebody said i'm gonna I'm shout them out what enough songs in their catalog yeah some some crazy like that i was like nigga do you know that wally was out here before cole do you know that j cole for years do you know that j cole opened up for wale on the um on the rock nation tour come with jay-z on. speak come on now like speak. wale is one of the top five rappers out here though like i don't care what anybody says of this generation he definitely is jay-z said it himself he named the niggas that he felt was those niggas he and wale was one of them it was wale cole drake kendrick that was it so, Wale has enough records, for one. Enough, uh, those, I mean, he owns Urban Radio, for real, for real. Like, mm-hmm. he, he's constantly uh, getting played on there. And Wale got, Wale got hits, dog. He do, he definitely got hits. He got sleepers. Like, every single time I go to his show, he does a, um, he does an annual show um, in D.C. at Silver Spring at the Fillmore. Um, and he just reminds me every single time just how well of a performer he is mm-hmm. and how many hits he has. I'm just like, God damn, this nigga could really be on stage for three hours. Really can't be on here for three hours and just keep and just go. So, um, J. Cole and Wale, I would love to see it. I know it will never happen, but I would love to see it. 
I don't think Cole will do it. Because Cole doesn't have any real incentive to do it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, if he really did, like, it would be, like, a look for Wallet. Because to J. Cole, no. Like, they, they still fuck with each other. They're still real cool yeah. and stuff like that. And um, and he, res- he respects his pen as well, too. I think the real matchup for versus, if Wallet was going to do a versus, is going to be between Big Sean or Meek Mill. I think those two will make the most sense. And I would prefer to see him against Big Sean. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I, I feel like there would be too much of an up and down with Big Sean. I mean, with Meek Mill and Wale, like, mm-hmm. and there could be some real shit in there too. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it, it, that may not that may not be the best that may not be the best matchup. I feel like they're just in different lanes. Like Definitely. Meek Mill is more like categorized in one street lane and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and then Wale Wale just has it for he has a more diverse bag in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. I don't even so, think that's up for debate. Yeah. So, a Wale and Big Sean versus, I think, is more realistic. That would be fun to watch. I would love to see that shit. I think that w- I think that's really going to be one of them ones. That would be fun to watch. And Wale, I think, is going to get his, his real flowers, for sure, um, if he does that. So, um, yes, Wale is a Nigerian-American ass, uh a rapper, his uh, Nigerian, <laughs> Nigerian ass rapper. Though. <laughs> yeah, his his family, his his dad is uh, Nigerian, his mom's Nigerian. So, and he he does show a lot of love to um, the continent of Africa too. Like I know he does. He's been and Wale. That's what we need to do. And I think I can get my hand on Wale. I think we can too. I think I can. Yeah, Wale, his ear for music. Like if you guys peep, he knows. He knows people be popping before they actually get popping. The Meg Thee Stallion, she was on the Wale record before she really went crazy. Nipsey Hussle was on a, a old Wale mixtape before he really got popping. And there's there's a lot of there's a lot of artists that Wale fucks with early mm-hmm. and then they blow. SZA, another one. Like there's a lot of artists that he that he really gets early, and he doesn't really get a lot of the credit for for that. Because what kind of... Well, you got to also understand, we talking about credit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Wale does that because he's doing what he wanted done for him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, people should have been fucking with me when they knew I was great. So why don't I just fuck with people that I see that are great? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But what kind of credit is he going to look for when people... Won't, like, he's still battling the flowers. You know what I'm saying? Like, he still hasn't been solidified. Like, like you said, J. Cole was opening up for Wale, but yet Wale still doesn't have the same level. He's still not at the same level as J. Cole yet. Well, no, he was... So, I think what happened with, with Wale is that so many people just kept passing him. Yeah. That's that's what happened. Like, he was there, and he was known as there. Like, Wale... It was Drake, Wale, and Kid Cudi on that cover of GQ when the the first freshman class mm-hmm. came out. And those were the three niggas that everybody was class. Like, amazing class. Like honestly, like that O nine class, ain't nobody really fucking with it. So like when Wale, so obviously Drake went out of here. Um Drake went out of here. Kid Cudi went out of here. Okay. It kind of left him behind. Mm-hmm. Then you had the new newer class coming in. You had Cole coming up. Mm-hmm. You had um uh Kendrick coming up. Then they went past him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, and and I I understand like his pain. Like Wally really be like frustrated, and like everybody be saying like, Who man, he be bitching a lot. My mom. Oh, uh, she she know we on the show. I know she do. Cause I was just getting ready to say, I know your new hoes might not know, but they need to know. I, <laughs> Cause your old hoe knew. <laughs> That's all. I'm Yo, say. the new the new jokes. <laughs> Never mind. We're not gonna get into that. <laughs> We're gonna say that for the new podcast. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna wait till next season. Yeah, we yeah, can really get this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. Season yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the new season gonna be lit. I'm Y'all are so lie. excited for the new next. Yeah, the next season. Yeah, because this new single man, this shit crazy. This is having a great time. This is amazing. This oh is so God. fun. I thought, Mama, you love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, must have been important though. Cause hmm? she know. Must have must have been important. Cause she know. And she called me back again. I'm answering. Y'all already know. Shout out to mom. When so. you hung it up, she was like, "Oh yeah, it's Monday." She reminded her instantly. I definitely talked to her earlier too, <laughs> <laughs> but her mom be going. It's all good. It's all good. Hell, top, hell, top, hell, hell no. Top, hell, top, hell.